it's a lot more daunting when you're in front of people and actually you know, <laughs> talking. It's it's much easier to watch. But I go by Nick, and over the past couple months, I've been given a chance here to tell a story with Fuse 33 and IAC. Um, this is a story of um, our spirituality, a story of our inner framework that we use as um, kind of this exoskeleton to, to lean on. The altar here, you'll notice, is uh, built out of scrap materials, so uh, scrap wood that would have uh, been, you know, maybe repurposed for other uses or thrown away. Um, I got to use, and through, un through conventional joinery, I've been able to make some things out of nothing. And I really wanted to play on this idea that nothing's ever really created or destroyed, it's only ever recycled. Um, and a lot is, and a lot of that is true with the stories that we're told when we're younger too, and the institutions that we follow. Um, we only ever recycle the knowledge that we've been received. Um, regarding the building of this process, after um, after I uh, put all these pieces together, I used a chisel and uh, sandpaper to kind of uh, get the correct um, contours in the wood. I wanted to have this sort of free flowing state in the wood um, to embody this sense of nature. Um, after that point, I, I was able to use a laser to inscribe a, uh, a, a brief summary of the story that I wanted to tell, or the meaning behind the story I wanted to tell, so maybe I could pass that over and you guys can come check it out um, <laughs> here. Give it a look. Um, regarding the story, it was we, we, follow the, we follow a young woman who kind of struggles with her spirituality, and when she's using her, her knowledge in, in uh, in, in this religious space, outside of her normal uh, space and unconventional spaces, um, she kind of struggles with that idea. It's because when you use the altar on uh, uneven surfaces, it's, it's now unstable. When you're using uh, rigid belief systems in unrigid circumstances, it will ultimately falter. Um, this 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 transition is a is a very difficult transition. It's a mournful period, but. Through this process of struggle and strife, I think we, we go through this chrysalis, this caterpillar to butterfly effect of um, growing into this completeness or um, understanding that our purpose in life is supposed to be unconditional. Um, apart from that, I, I, I used um, a chisel to, to get some of the details in there. I wanted to sort of represent a face rising from the Promethean fire. Um, there's a lot of symbolism that I wanted to portray with this story because I find that trying to tell a story is much more difficult than trying to relate a series of symbols that you can infer your own um, internal internal processes from. Um, on the QR code on that piece that I sent around, there's a link to a video that if you copy and paste the URL, you can you can check this video and video out and see see what you feel. But for this, I used an additive and subtractive approach. Um, so I put things together and then cut them down. And I, I think that that's normally that's not the way to you know go about building something from scratch. I think you know you build a prototype and, and you layer things on and you grow things that way. But I kind of wanted to go against the grain in the in the fact that um, that might be your suggestion, but my suggestion is to is to develop myself to the process. And so I found that that was the best way to kind of go against the grain, this sort of rebellion that I wanted to to show. As for, as for my experience here in Fuse 33 and a half, it's been absolutely fundamental in the way that I've been viewing creativity. When you're surrounded by such a creative team and people that are so dedicated to the cause of just making things, it really makes you want to create a bunch of things too. And so when I first started this project, I had no ideas about what I wanted to do, but I, I thought maybe I'd make a chair, maybe I'd make something like conventional. But then seeing some of the things that you see here and seeing some of the stories that these people here have to offer, you, you, you're kind of forced to think outside the box and to, and to really look within. And so for me, my biggest strife is, is within my spirituality and within, my, uh, within those moments of, of strife. And so I found that um, building a symbolic piece here kind of was able, I was able to represent that in its entirety. I think that's about all I really want to cover. So thanks so much.